property management, folks. A lot of people think all we do as landlords and property managers is collect rent. Just get all this free money. I'm a landlord. Give me the free money. That is fur. This is the furthest thing from the truth, right? Anybody who's actually in the business of real estate, actually in the property management business, knows that there is a lot of BS that goes into this business. It is a hard, hard job. And for those of you that don't yet know that, you better pull up a chair and pay attention because I'm about to learn you something, folks. Today, we're going to go over five things that tenants never clean when they move out, man. I'm going to show you guys five specific things that get pretty darn nasty when you're in the real estate space. And you know that I'm going to have actual footage from my own real estate portfolio, right? I don't just talk the talk, folks. I walk the walk. So stick around. You're going to see some wild stuff. Some of this stuff, I bet you, if you're not a seasoned landlord, some of the stuff you're about to see you have never imagined your li in your life ever that something could get that dirty in a house. Today, we're going to break it all down. You're going to show, I'm going to show you guys what it's really like, what landlords are doing, how they actually earn their keep. Let's go. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and the purpose of this show is to peel back the curtain on the real estate industry, right? And as I said, I get a little annoyed with all the people saying landlords don't do nothing, right? So we're going over five things tenants never clean. And honestly, just to be clear, I should say five things that tenants from hell never clean, okay? To say that all tenants are bad, that is not true. That is not the point of this show. That is not what I'm uh, saying or implying, okay? Uh, the majority of tenants are actually good people, and the majority of properties in the Holton Wise portfolio actually run very few issues, right? They run without a hitch. We run a $75 million portfolio, have dealt with thousands of tenants, right? But with such a large portfolio comes... <laughs> Comes a lot of tenants from hell, and that's what we're exposing on this show. And today we're going over five things the tenants from hell never clean, folks. So if you think landlords are not out there earning their money, earning that paycheck, pay attention, right? Number one, the bathroom. Tenants from hell ain't ever cleaning the bathroom, folks. Look at that. Look at that freaking turd freaking locker. Woo-hoo! Y'all ever seen a toilet? That look like that before. Woo boy. And these are all from my own portfolio, folks. That right there. I've never actually pooped on it, but that is my toilet. Oh, what about that bathtub, man? Does that toilet make you want to take a little bath? Get a little clean? What? You going to take a little bath in that bad boy? I don't think so. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's all kinds of turd. Oh, we even got some, like, some of the brown paper towel action. Woo. Now that, folks, that right there, that's a squatty potty, man. Don't pay attention to the disgustingness in the rim of that toilet. What about that squatty potty? This video is not sponsored by squatty potty, but hey, squatty potty, let's talk. I actually am a personal user of the squatty potty, man. It really clears out your pipes, dude. It really helps with the angle. So squatty potty, hit your boy JY's up, man. You guys need, uh, you know. Somebody out here pitching the product, love me a squatty potty. Do not love me this toilet, though. That is for sure. Oh, another bathtub. Man, imagine getting in that bad boy. Nice little bubble bath, little glass of wine. Ooh, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, man, couldn't imagine taking a bath in that thing. And this one, this is a good one. Uh, it's actually not very dirty and disgusting, uh, but this was sweet, right? This happened to me. Uh, I think this was like five years ago at this point. Uh, I got an apartment building, right? Apartment building, multifamily apartment building. And uh, I get a call 
because uh, some of the tenants are lighting off fireworks inside their house. You know, that's just part of the game, right? That's what you do when you're a real estate investor, folks. Sometimes you have to deal with tenants who are afraid of the other tenants in their building because they're setting fucking fireworks off in their goddamn bathtub. Woo, boy! Outside of the rim there, a little, little cleaning action right there needs to take place. Looking good. Ooh! Ooh, you see that? Got a bunch of maggots. And that little mashed potato turd salad right there. A little turd and maggot salad, folks. Look at that. That's just a cleanly bathroom. Obviously, you could assume this chick kept a very clean home, right? All right. Now, you're all like, whoa, what's up? That was messed up, dude. Those houses must have stunk. Let's go outside. Let's check out the yard. What's up in the yard? Oh, nothing much. Just a little bit of blood splatter on the wall with some jizz and a condom, okay? I don't know if the blood spatter, like, arrived there at the same time the jizz-filled condom did. Like, I'm not sure, right? Like, was this not consensual? Is that why the blood spatter is there? Like, are, is the blood spatter related to the condom? Is, I mean, but if you're sexually assaulting someone... Why are you wearing a condom? I guess you'd be wearing a condom when you're sexually assaulting someone to make sure that they don't get your DNA, but then you left your DNA at the scene of the crime. So perhaps these are not related. Perhaps the uh, sexual experience that happened in this yard uh, of this apartment building was consensual, and the blood is, you know, just from some other day. I don't know. I'm not sure. But, hey, when you keep your yards this clean and organized, folks... Who cares about blood spatter and condoms? Am I right? A little, little aerial shot there. Look at that. That's some good landscaping right there, folks. Woo, boy. Must be easy to be a landlord, huh? Landlords don't do no work, right? We just sit around, get fat, and collect rent. Okay, I know a lot of you are like, but this dude is fat. Okay, yes, that's true. I am fat. But it's I still don't just sit around and collect rent. Like, the job's hard, okay? And you know what? Maybe sometimes it's so hard. I'm so sick of the poop and maggots and the blood spatter and the jizz that I just got to drown myself in some buffalo sauce and chicken wings. I don't know, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Looking good, right? Looking good. People keeping their yards nice and clean. Does your yard at home look like that? Ooh. Going back in the house now, folks. No longer outside. At least... If you're running a disgusting bathroom, disgusting yard, at least you're going to go ahead and keep the place where you put your head on the pillow and rest your weary soul. You're going to keep that clean. Am I right? Oh, no, you are not. What is this? Oh, my. What? How does that happen? I think literally, I'm pretty sure it's hard to tell, but like, I think the, I don't know if that's like more dirt or if that's actually like somebody's head uh, with the hair and my guys actually took the photo why somebody was sleeping. Believe it or not, uh, <laughs> it happens often, right? Like you do uh, unit like inspections or you have to go through units and stuff. Like and like it's not uncommon for there to actually be like people just sleeping while you're there and they don't even get up while you're in there. So I'm not sure if that's a person or that's just more grossness. I don't know. Oh, back to blood. More blood. Yes. Love the blood. At least this blood is on the inside of the home. A little blood action there. Ooh, what's this? Nice little close-up shot of some Betty Bug Bugs, man. Bed Bugs. Bed Bugs a big part of the real estate business. You want to be a property manager, you're going to deal with a little bit of Bed Bugs. Uh, yeah, that's just nasty, dude. That's a bed. Some There's a human being out there sleeping in this thing or was sleeping in this thing. What a freaking savage. Oh, look at those Bed Bugs. We uh, made a whole video about this bed bug infestation. This is like the worst bed bug infestation we've ever done. So that's in the notes below. I got live footage of that too. Like actually, uh, like this is actually a screenshot, right? This is a screenshot from that video. <laughs> and all these freaking bed bugs are moving around and crawling around. Like this whole thing right here, this is just like a colony of bed bugs, dude. You guys got to see those things crawling around. It is freaking gross. Hopefully it's not too gross that you lost your appetite, folks, because we're going to the kitchen. Imagine one of these people calling you up like, hey, man, you want to come over for some dinner? Oh, what's we got here? We got a little little Tupperware, a little Tupperware with some bed bug action. Put a little salt, 
Put a little salt on those bad boys, little fried bed bugs. Oh, look at that. Little bug trap right there. Sticky, sticky, right? Catch all the cockroaches and the sticky, sticky bugs on that thing. Ooh, that looks like it's doing a good job. Little just nastiness, nasty. By the way, while we're talking about this, I uh, need you guys to understand a little something. Because I, I, I feel like I see all the little keyboard warriors out there like, mah, 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 right now getting ready to say their stuff like, this guy must be a slumlord. He lets his properties get this bad. It's his fault. I, I feel you. I feel you. I see you guys out there getting ready to write those. Because y'all fucking fuckers write that stuff on like every video. Uh, just one thing to note about what Holton Wise does is uh, we continue to carouse through these amazing kitchen. Oh, wow. That is disgusting. That is so nasty. What you need to understand what Holton Wise does, folks, is uh, Holton Wise often comes in and takes over distressed properties, okay? Uh, you get a lot of people out there uh, that can no longer handle being a landlord, right? They end up with bad tenants, that do things like this to their properties, and these people are like, oh, my God, I'm done. I can't handle this. Get me out of here. And who do they call? They call Holton Wise. And then we come in and we take over these properties, and then we reposition them, right? Usually what that means is, like, we find stuff like this, and then we, like, you know, fucking boot the motherfuckers that did it out of the houses, right? So, like, the majority of the eviction videos you guys see and just, like, the majority of the filth and the nastiness that you guys see, uh, same house, same house as the disgusting uh, countertop. I just thought you should see that this person was an avid drinker of a uh, little Mountain Dew action there. Ooh, that looks good. But anywho, what I'm trying to say is the majority of the nastiness you see is inherited nastiness. The majority of the people we evict uh, are inherited tenants, right? Uh, when Holton Wise actually places tenants, I'm not saying we never evict those or they never trash the units or get disgusting or don't clean them. I'm not saying that at all. That does happen. That's part of the business, folks. Uh, but what I am saying is the majority of the worst of the worst is uh, inherited tenants, stuff we saw. Like a lot of people dealing with evictions, most of the time I found in my... In my uh, experience running a very very large property management company is most tenants that stop paying rent are doing so because they actually don't believe the landlord will evict them and oftentimes the landlord really won't and that's why they call Holton Wise and then we take over their property and we evict them as far as the tenants we place we don't really evict too many of them uh, because they know that we will evict them and then we will also send them a t-shirt that says I just got evicted and all I got was this crappy t-shirt which by the way if you guys want to send that to your tenants uh, click the notes below. You could buy that shirt. We also have the Eviction Clause shirt, the I Love Eviction shirts, all of those available in our merch store. Go ahead, use yourself promo code HWTV10. Get yourself 10% off from your boy Jay Wise. So when they know you'll evict them, and then they know you're making T-shirts about evicting them, and then they know you'll put their eviction on Holton Wise TV, some of those videos have over a million views, <laughs> they, they typically pay rent because they know the consequences are coming. Uh, so, uh, again, a lot of this horrible stuff that you see from these tenants from hell, they are inherited. So uh, not all of those uh, are going to be inherited, though. We do run into tenants that, that we place that give us problems. But I just wanted you to know that. So all the people like, rawr, 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 rawr. you got, I gave you a little backstory, so I don't even know what you're going to be typing now. What are you going to freaking type? I just explained the whole freaking thing. If you type that stupid comment, I'm going to know you didn't even watch this far into the video, you idiot. Check out this vacuum, dude. Obviously, this vacuum is getting a lot of use here at this property. Wow! When your vacuum is covered and caked in that stuff, dude, holy, why do you even own it? Looks like somebody's drawing figure eights into the grime. Dude, how nasty is your life? How, how horrible of a human being are you? That you have so much grime built up onto your kitchen cabinet that you or your fucking little bastard children <laughs> drew a figure eight into the grime. Oh, you're a terrible human being. What about this fridge, though, huh? I think I'm probably going to have to make this fridge the thumbnail of this video, dude. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. Would you guys, what is that? What is, is that sun kissed? Is that some orange juice? Who would drink some? Oh, look, dude, there's eggs in there, too. Oh, my God. Wow. That's impressive. It's impressive that that fridge could be that 
freaking disgusting. Woo, look at this. A little nastiness. That's all kitty, like kitty litter nastiness, like clunked up kitty litter and just like kitty hair. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, by the way, lots of real estate investors out there, they want to buy distressed properties. You, you want to know how you get properties undervalued, folks. You got to buy this. This is the kind of stuff you got to buy, right? You got to be willing to meet Mr. Seller who's like, yo, bro, this is what I got going on in my house. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Will you buy my problem? And then you got to be like, yeah, I will give you money for all this disgustingness, right? That's that's what we do here at Holden, Holden Wise TV, right? And we also take over portfolios, right, where landlords are like, I can't deal with these horrible tenants. And then we go, hey, it's all good. We'll manage those tenants for you, right? We'll take on this. We love some grease on the wall, man. Woo! Look at that. I bet they deep fry a lot of stuff out of that house. Wow. And then finally, the floor. The fl the fifth thing they never they never clean, right? So what do we got? We started uh, with the kitchen. No, we started in the bathroom. That was great. That was gross. Loved it. Went to the yard. Then we went back into the kitchen and the bed. Maybe that should be reversed. I don't know. But that's where we were. Now we're just we're just talking about the floor, right? Look at that carpet. In a lot of the shows I talk to you guys about investing in real estate, oftentimes I tell you, do not install carpet in your rental properties, right? Why? Because it ends up looking like this, right? You want to do hardwood floors with a whole clear coat, very, very thick clear coat. So when you come in, you can just wash it, redo it, right? Obviously, this carpet must be replaced before the next tenant comes in, right? Tenant from hell can't clean that. We can't clean that. It's too far gone, right? Look at this carpet. Too far gone. This is why you never want to do carpet in your home, right? Because you're going to put some people in there. They're going to be drinking their Genesee cream ale and just, I don't know, I'm assuming they smoke like 14 packs of cigarettes a day if I had to guess. A little up close. Look at that, dude. It's it's like literally black. Ooh, that's freaking gross, dude. Oh, man. Look at this. See this? Look at that. Ah, oh, look. You can see where it's like. The original shade up there, dude. But, hey, man, they got their vacuum. Look at that, the vacuum, getting a lot of use. Woo, man, how many of y'all have carpet that looks like that in your house, man? Woo, y'all feel, feel me yet? Landlords just doing nothing, just getting fat, collecting rent, right? We don't do anything as landlords, no. And anytime landlords evict people, right, it's never the person who lives there's fault. Obviously, the landlord turned that, like, Super light colored carpet black, right? Landlord must have done that, right? Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Look at that. Little basement storage action, right? Keeping their stuff nice and tidy in the basement. That's how I store my belongings, folks. Just like that. That's what I do at my house. Oh, man. Woo! <laughs> That's inside someone's home. Little flip flop action, man. Little flip flop action. I think that's, uh, that's what happens when you uh, flush them. Uh, them disposable wipes, right? Little little pro tip for y'all out there, okay? They make those uh those like those like wipes. They say they're flushable, right? The flushable like like baby wipes, right? You know, no, they're not flushable. I kn I know the package says they're flushable. They're not. They're not flushable. Do you want to know what happens when you flush flushable wipes? That's what happens. All right. Flushable wipes are not flushable. And, folks, that's five things that your tenants from hell don't clean before they move out. This is what we do at Landlords. This is what it looks like. If you guys have any grossness, nastiness, disgustingness, horribleness from your journey as a landlord, do me a solid and let me know in the notes below. If you got pictures and video, go ahead and send them in to my team, right? You could just send those to media at Holton Wise. And perhaps uh, we'll tell your story on the show or even get you on the show. I just want to hear all about experiences out there from fellow landlords. Catch you all next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.